compared to a straight truck or bus, thanks to inspect on a combination vehicle. A. Fewer. B. The same number of. C. More. Answer. C. More. When compared to a straight truck or bus, there are more things to inspect on a combination vehicle. This is because a combination vehicle consists of a tractor and one or more trailers, and each component has its own set of systems and components that need to be checked before driving. It is essential to conduct a thorough inspection of all parts of the combination vehicle to ensure safe operation on the road. How much space should be between the upper and lower fifth wheel after coupling? A. Just enough to see light through. B. None. C. About a quarter inch. Answer. B. None. The upper and lower fifth wheel should fit snugly together with no space in between after coupling. This is to ensure a secure connection between the tractor and trailer, and to prevent any potential for separation during travel. When backing a tractor under a trailer, you should A. Always use the lowest reverse gear. B. Always approach the trailer at a slight angle. C. Do it quickly to ensure that the kingpin is locked into the fifth wheel. Answer A. Always use the lowest reverse gear. When backing a tractor under a trailer, it is recommended to always use the lowest reverse gear. This is because it provides the most power to the wheels, allowing for better control and maneuverability when backing up. It also allows the driver to maintain a slower speed, which can be crucial in avoiding collisions or other accidents. When you get ready to back under a trailer, you should line up. A. The kingpin with the edge of the driver's side locking jaw. B. The left rear outer dual wheel with the kingpin. C. Directly in front of the trailer. Answer. C. Directly in front of the trailer. When preparing to back under a trailer, you should line up directly in front of the trailer. This will make it easier to line up the tractor and trailer correctly and prevent damage to the equipment or other objects. It is important to take your time and approach the trailer slowly and carefully to ensure a safe and successful coupling. The air leakage rate for a combination vehicle, engine off, brakes off, should be less than underscore side per minute. A. 3. B. 2. C. 1 half. Answer, A, 3. The air leakage rate for a combination vehicle, engine off, brakes off, should be less than 3 psi per minute. This means that the air pressure in the braking system should not decrease more than 3 psi in a minute when the engine and brakes are not in use. This is an important safety measure to ensure that the braking system is working properly and can stop the vehicle in case of an emergency. To stop a trailer skid, you should a. Use the trailer handbrake. B. Counter steer. C. Release the service brakes. Answer. C. Release the service brakes. When a trailer starts to skid, it means that the wheels have lost traction with the road surface. In order to stop the skid, the driver should release the service brakes to allow the wheels to regain traction. This will help the driver regain control of the vehicle and prevent a potential accident. Counter steering or using the trailer handbrake are not effective ways to stop a trailer skid. Before you back under a trailer, make sure the A. Trailer brakes are locked. B. Air supply knob is in. C. Air brakes are off. Answer A. Trailer brakes are locked. Before backing under a trailer, you should make sure the trailer brakes are locked. This is important because if the trailer brakes are not locked, it can cause the trailer to move unexpectedly and potentially lead to an accident or damage to the trailer or tractor. There are two things that a driver can do to prevent a rollover. They are, 1. Go slowly around turns, and, 2. A. Keep both hands firmly on the steering wheel. B. Keep the cargo as close to the ground as possible. C. Keep the fifth wheel free play as small as possible. Answer B. Keep the cargo as close to the ground as possible. Rollovers can occur when the weight of the vehicle shifts too quickly, causing the vehicle to tip over. 
One way to prevent this is to keep the cargo as close to the ground as possible, as this lowers the center of gravity of the vehicle and makes it less likely to tip over. Another important step to prevent rollovers is to slow down when taking turns, which can also help to prevent the weight of the vehicle from shifting too quickly. After the trailer has been coupled to the tractor, the tractor protection control valve should be placed in the position. A. Down. B. Up. C. Normal. Answer. C. Normal. When the trailer has been coupled to the tractor, the tractor protection control valve should be placed in the normal position to allow the air to flow to the trailer brakes. This ensures that the trailer brakes will work properly while driving. When uncoupling a trailer, after you have shut off the trailer air supply and locked the trailer brakes, you should I back up gently to ease pressure on the fifth wheel locking jaws and then apply the tractor parking brakes. B. Begin to lower the trailer landing gear. C. Immediately put on your tractor parking brakes. Answer A. Back up gently to ease pressure on the fifth wheel locking jaws and then apply the tractor parking brakes. Backing up gently after shutting off the trailer air supply and locking the trailer brakes helps to ease the pressure on the fifth wheel locking jaws, making it easier to release the tractor from the trailer. Once the pressure has been eased, the tractor parking brakes should be applied to prevent the tractor from moving. Lowering the trailer landing gear comes later in the process. After you lock the kingpin into the fifth wheel, you should check the connection by A. Pulling forward 30 feet, turning right and left. B. Pulling the tractor ahead sharply to release the trailer. C. Pulling the tractor ahead gently with the trailer brakes locked. Answer, C. Pulling the tractor ahead gently with the trailer brakes locked. Pulling the tractor ahead gently with the trailer brakes locked is the best way to check the connection between the tractor and the trailer. This ensures that the kingpin is properly seated and locked into the fifth wheel, and that the air and electrical connections are secure. Pulling forward gently also allows you to check for any abnormal movements or sounds that could indicate a problem with the connection. It is important to make sure that the connection is secure before driving the vehicle to prevent accidents on the road. If you cannot make a turn without entering another traffic lane, you should A. Turn wide before you start your turn. B. Turn wide as you complete your turn. C. Not make the turn, go to another place where you will not have to cross into another lane. Answer. B. Turn wide as you complete your turn. Turning wide as you complete your turn is the safest and most efficient way to make a turn when you cannot do so without entering another traffic lane. This allows you to position your vehicle correctly and avoid encroaching on other lanes. Turning wide before starting your turn may not give you enough space to complete the turn safely, while not making the turn at all could cause delays and inconvenience. Loss of air pressure in the emergency line causes a. The relay valve to close. b. The trailer's emergency brakes to come on. c. An increase in air pressure to the service line. Answer b. The trailer's emergency brakes to come on. When the air pressure in the emergency line is lost, the emergency brakes in the trailer will come on. This is because the emergency brakes are activated by air pressure and the loss of air pressure in the emergency line will cause the emergency brakes to engage as a safety feature. This is an important safety mechanism to prevent the trailer from rolling away or becoming disconnected from the tractor. You have coupled with a semi-trailer. Where should you put the front trailer supports before driving away? A. Raised one or two way with the crank handle secured in its bracket. B. Fully raised with the crank handle secured in its bracket. C. Raised three or four way with the crank handle removed. Answer. B. Fully raised with the crank handle secured in its bracket. When coupling a semi-trailer, the front trailer supports should be raised fully before driving away. This is important to prevent damage to the supports and to avoid dragging them on the ground. The crank handle used to raise the supports should be secured in its bracket to prevent it from bouncing around and causing damage or injury. In normal driving, some drivers use the hand valve before the brake pedal to prevent a jackknife. 
Which of these statements is true? A. It should not be done. B. It results in less skidding than using the brake pedal alone. C. It is the best way to brake and keep the track in a straight line. Answer A. It should not be done. Using the hand valve before the brake pedal to prevent a jackknife should not be done as it can cause the trailer wheels to lock up and lead to a loss of control of the vehicle. The proper technique to prevent a jackknife is to apply the brake smoothly and steadily while maintaining control of the steering. The tractor protection valve will close and the trailer emergency brakes will come on immediately when there is a major leak in the brake line. A. Parking B. Service C. Emergency Answer, C. Emergency The tractor protection valve is designed to protect the air supply of the tractor in case of a major air leak in the trailer or the trailer's brake system. If there is a major leak in the emergency brake line, the tractor protection valve will sense the loss of pressure and immediately close to prevent air from escaping from the tractor's air system. When this happens, the trailer's emergency brakes will be activated, bringing the vehicle to a stop as quickly and safely as possible. This safety feature is important because it helps prevent accidents caused by runaway trailers or other issues with the trailer's braking system. You have a major leak in the service line and you put on the brakes. Service air pressure will escape and cause the A. Trailer tank pressure to be lost. B. Trailer emergency brakes to come on. C. Tractor spring brakes to lock on. Answer. B. Trailer emergency brakes to come on. When there is a major leak in the service line and the brakes are applied, the service air pressure will escape and cause the trailer emergency brakes to come on. This is because the trailer emergency brakes are powered by the air stored in the trailer air tanks, which is separate from the service air supply. If the service air pressure is lost, the emergency brakes will activate to prevent the trailer from rolling away uncontrollably. This safety mechanism is designed to protect the driver and other road users from accidents caused by brake failure. What will happen if the air lines are crossed when you hook to an old trailer? A. If the trailer has no spring brakes, you could drive away but you would not have trailer brakes. B. The hand valve will apply the tractor brakes instead of the trailer brakes. C. The brake lights will not come on when you press the brake pedal. Answer A. If the trailer has no spring brakes, you could drive away but you would not have trailer brakes. When air lines are crossed when hooking up to an old trailer, the air from the tractor goes to the service line instead of the emergency line. This causes the trailer brakes to not work because they are operated by the emergency line. However, if the old trailer does not have spring brakes, the trailer can still be driven away but without the use of trailer brakes. Why should you lock the tractor glad hands to each other, or dummy couplers, when you are not towing a trailer? A. The connected brake circuit becomes a backup air tank. B. If you didn't, you could never build system pressure. C. It will keep dirt and water out of the lines. Answer. C. It will keep dirt and water out of the lines. Locking the tractor glad hands to each other or using dummy couplers is important when the vehicle is not towing a trailer because it prevents dirt and water from entering the air brake system. Moisture and debris can cause corrosion, which can damage the system and lead to brake failure. By locking the glad hands or using dummy couplers, the system remains sealed, preventing the entry of dirt and water. You have pushed in the trailer supply valve. You should not move the tractor until the whole air system is A. At normal pressure B. Empty C. Between 60 and 80 psi Answer A. At normal pressure When the trailer supply valve is pushed in, the tractor and trailer air systems are connected, and the air flows from the tractor to the trailer. Before moving the tractor, it is important to ensure that the air pressure in the entire air system is at the normal operating pressure. This will ensure that the brakes are fully operational and the vehicle is safe to drive. Before you back under a trailer, make sure that A. Trailer brakes are locked B. Tractor protection valve is normal C. Air brakes are off 
Answer A. Trailer brakes are locked. Backing under a trailer with the trailer brakes still engaged can cause the kingpin to jam against the fifth wheel, resulting in damage to the trailer or tractor. Therefore, before backing under a trailer, it is essential to ensure that the trailer brakes are locked to prevent any movement. You are coupling a tractor to a semi-trailer and have backed up but are not under it. What should you hook up before backing under? A. The electrical service cable. B. The emergency and service airlines. C. Nothing. Back up and lock the fifth wheel. Answer B. The emergency and service airlines. Before backing under a trailer, you should hook up the emergency and service airlines to ensure that the trailer brakes are locked and to prevent the trailer from rolling. This will help ensure that the trailer does not move while you are backing up, which can prevent accidents and damage to the trailer and other vehicles. After hooking up the airlines, you should also check that the fifth wheel is properly aligned and that the kingpin is fully engaged before backing under the trailer. You should not back a tractor under a trailer until the whole air system is a. at normal pressure b. bled down to half the maximum pressure c. between 60 and 80 psi Answer a. at normal pressure before backing a tractor under a trailer, the entire air system should be at normal pressure. This ensures that the brakes will work properly and the trailer will be securely attached to the tractor. If the air pressure is not at the normal level, there may not be enough pressure to release the trailer brakes or to secure the connection between the tractor and the trailer, which can be dangerous. Therefore, it is important to always check the air pressure before backing up to a trailer. When you get ready to back under the semi-trailer you should line up a. about 12 degrees off the line of the trailer b. the kingpin to engage the driver's side locking jaw first c. directly in front of the trailer answer c. directly in front of the trailer when preparing to back under a semi-trailer it is important to line up directly in front of the trailer to ensure proper alignment of the tractor and trailer this will help ensure that the tractor is positioned correctly for coupling, reducing the risk of damage to the trailer and tractor. Lining up about 12 degrees off the line of the trailer or aiming for a specific side of the trailer could cause misalignment and lead to unsafe coupling. The kingpin should be centered over the fifth wheel before engaging the locking jaws, regardless of which side they engage first. You are coupling a semi-trailer to your tractor but have not yet backed under. The trailer is at the right height when a. The kingpin is about one and a quarter inches above the fifth wheel. b. The end of the kingpin is even with the top of the fifth wheel. c. It will be raised slightly when the tractor is backed under it. Answer: c. It will be raised slightly when the tractor is backed under it. When coupling a semi-trailer to a tractor, it is important to ensure that the trailer is at the right height before backing under it. Generally, the trailer should be raised slightly when the tractor is backed under it to make the coupling easier. This means that the end of the kingpin should be slightly higher than the top of the fifth wheel. Once the tractor is backed under the trailer, the kingpin will slide into the fifth wheel and be secured.